We have an interesting problem here that we're trying to get to the bottom of. We planted an eaves necklace, and it was the first eaves necklace, first tree, actually, that we ever planted with totally bare rooting of the root ball. Tropical John and I did it about three years ago. It's done very well up until this past year, and then all of a sudden, very quickly, very suddenly died. So we're doing an autopsy. We're digging it up and trying to figure out what exactly caused the demise of our first bare-rooted tree, the Eve's necklace. I mean, I'm, at this we've point, gotten down to we've gotten down to the see where the majority of the roots are, and they all appear to be on the left side, the right side. The roots are bad. Side over here, well, that'd be the upper side draining this way. That makes sense. It's staying wetter over here on this side because that's, see, we, that's pretty wet. I chopped through these up. three roots here. I think this thing's gonna pull right out. There's nothing holding on that street, street side. Yeah, these are all pretty, got pretty much gone over here. All right, well, we're ready to cut the root. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. One of the things that you can see is the area where the, um, the bare rooted roots were when we remove the tree from its container. It had been, the tree had been grown in one of the grow bags and you can see the knots on the uh, roots where the roots had gone out and hit that grow bag fabric and then it started to splatter and fill out in the uh, inside the bag. We noticed when we bare rooted this tree, if you remember Trop, all the roots were concentrated at the top yep. and at the bottom of the ball. There were hardly any in the middle. In the middle. But it obviously grew well for a while. These roots over here, these buttress roots are doing doing great. Yeah, these guys look good. I think it just is too wet. Learn the hard way. This plant really is as good on dry tall. It has to have it. Looks like the roots are we're down at the bottom of the ball over here have rotted. Yeah, it's good uh good way of showing how to dig up a stump from scratch here. Start out wide, work your way in. My landscape guys always seem to want to go for the biggest roots, but I start further out and work your way in. Cut those lateral roots. This guy's not far from coming out. Back. And what was that you said about sharp tools? Oh yes, and a nice sharp shovel will help. Don't use a shovel straight out of the uh, hardware store because there is no edge on it. I keep mine filed like an axe, although this one could use a new filing. So this bad boy is ready to go. Can you push it out? I think so. Let's see what it'll do. Okay. Might have something right on the very bottom. I think an important point here is that if it had been related to the uh, bare rooting, we wouldn't have those nice roots going out on that side. And they came out on this side for a while until it appears they stayed too wet and rotted over a period of time. When native plants are used, it's probably a good idea to separate the irrigation so that it doesn't run on the native plants and you only water them when uh, it's really a severe drought. This is strange because we've been going through a drought here in Dallas and the irrigation system has not been run very often here at all. In fact, some of the plants are, are in some stress, but I guess the lesson here is this is in a courtyard and completely surrounded by concrete and it probably acts as a as a perch water table, more or less, as far as the water build, moisture level building up in here and not draining away as much as you'd like, especially for a native plant. Oh, 
tough on an old man. It's your idea for us to do this. <laughs> going straight down from the little original ball, aren't they? Pull your way. Got this side. They yeah, were still connected, right? Right down in here. Switch spot. something. Okay. This is interesting. See how they're bent and elbowed? That was the bottom of that our root ball. That probably. was the bottom when we took it Gotta out of the be. container. These knots right here show where the roots hit the bottom of the uh, probably the plastic in the nursery and then uh, splattered and, and grew out. You can see how the roots grew very well on this one side and on the bottom and on this side not very well and they started rotting right in the center it looks like too. Yep. that clay's fine but too much moisture for too long I can't take that be interesting to we're taking it out just like it started now this is what we make him be beaded on the concrete. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to remove the... When we put this thing in, I thought this gentleman over here was crazy, but he's had that before. <laughs> I've had that before too. Y'all are crazy. What are you doing to my trees to get them planted? <laughs> Double check, but these roots here have totally rotted, and these over here are very healthy and had taken taken off and were doing well. This was the high side. This was the low side of the planting hole, so the water is tending to collect more on this side. And it's obvious that that's what did the damage. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> I mean, these are yet some viable roots, but they never were healthy. Yeah, the roots that died first looks like it was the roots that were in the ball. Yeah. 